What's up everyone? I am Jamie with Three Little Goats Homestead and let me say if you live on a farm you know that sleeping in is very rare and it seems like anytime we do actually sleep in we wake up to some sort of chaos. So this morning's chaos was the pigs got out so I didn't film any of that because well it was early morning and we had to get the pigs back where they belong but now we're trying to fix it and I'm going to show you what we did wrong. Good morning, Miss Blanche. Hi, sweetie. Hi, girl. Hi. You're such a sweet girl. I know. So, as a lot of you guys know, this is our goat paddock. Well, one of our goat paddocks. We keep all of our does <laughs> over here. Excuse me, Miss Blanche. You're being a little loud today. <laughs> I know. And originally, this paddock next to it was going to be for goats as well for breeding season. Well, we decided to get back into pigs and this kind of just turned into the pig paddock. And the problem with that is we didn't fence it for pigs. So as you can see, Miss Cleo demonstrating, goats like to rub against the fence. So we fenced with the fencing outwards. So when they inevitably rub up against it, it could push against the T-posts. Well, guess what? Pigs also like to rub up against the fence. And they weigh a lot more than goats do. So now Jesse is going along the entire fence line to reconnect all of the fence because the pigs had pushed this all out and just went right underneath the fence. Of course, they did it on the, the most humidest of days possible. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Would you say they went ham? Yeah, they went ham this morning. We were late, so they were like, we'll get our own breakfast. That'd be good. Miss Rogue, you're looking wide. You got a baby in there, girl? Hopefully more than a few babies. Like, yeah. We are coming up on kidding season, so I should probably start doing other checks. Yeah, yeah. Utter checks and shaving. Nah. Alright, so you, what'd you explain already? That when we built this, we built it for the goats because goats like to rub against the fence. But yeah. also pigs like to rub against the fence. Yeah, and you already said that we never intended putting pigs in here. Yeah. We intended to put piglets in that little spot. Yeah, we were going to keep an eye on them. Yeah. Well, now our troublemakers are in there. We have a little piglet stall. So we were able to get them in there so we could get the last pig over that was being a holdout. He didn't want to come back over. Yeah. So, do you already explain what I was going to do? That you're just reinforcing the bottom for now? Yeah. And I do have a future plan. Um, I'm probably going to undo all of this, all of the clips and stuff, restretch the wire because it's loose now, and I'm going to put T post on the other side. That way, if pigs push on it, it, it shouldn't give. So, but right now, I don't have any T-posts and... It's Sunday, we live in a small town, yeah. <laughs> nothing's open. So. We'll just do this, give this a shot, and see how it goes. Well, they have to go to freezer camp soon anyway. Yeah. So, once they go to freezer camp, we'll be able to actually work on this. So the only problem with sending them to freezer camp is we still have to make room for them in freezer camp. Yep. So I might have to put a, another freezer at my parents' place. Well, I thought you wanted to do freezer bunks. I do want to do freezer bunks, but I didn't think you would let me do freezer bunks. Oh, I'm not letting you do freezer bunks. I can't get up on a ladder. How am I supposed to get to the top bunk of the freezer? <laughs> Unless you built me like a lift. We can get one of those bucket lifts. Or we could do like in the libraries where they have the rolly stairs. If you do the rolly stairs, then you can do a, a bunk freezer. <laughs> We're not doing a bunk freezer. <laughs> Gravy's holding the fence for you. Thanks, babe. You're a good girl. Except you didn't keep the pigs out. But you guys are friends, so I guess it doesn't matter to you. She probably showed them how to come over. Probably. Do you see them all palling around when they were in here? You're a good girl. 
So I don't have my list of who we bred, but I figured I would go ahead and do some utter checks while I'm out here. I have a feeling most of the girls that we bred are bred, even though I I didn't I didn't ultrasound them this year. So I know Miss Cleo was bred. And she looks like she's getting a little bit of an udder. These two girls were too little. Um, Miss Rogue definitely bred. I don't know if she's gonna let me sneak a peek behind her. Well, didn't we think, didn't Rogue take the longest? Yeah, Rogue, Rogue we thought was the holdout, but she is, she's got the biggest udder, so she may have just. She got, she got it done quick. Yeah. She was straight to the point. And I didn't see her flag or anything. Corn pop. There's no other on corn pop. And she didn't take last breeding season. And if she doesn't take this season, I don't know what we're going to do. She's, she's had multiple freshenings. But we'll see how it goes. Miss Sadie still has no other. Leia is definitely starting to utter up. Uh, Miss Polly isn't pregnant. We didn't break her. Because Dottie is her kid. Um, some of our first fresheners is Snickers. Let's see if she'll let you sneak behind her. Still no udder on Snickers. Leia, is that a good scratchy tree? Um, Greasy's definitely starting to udder. She is a first freshener. Oh. Nice little udder you're getting there, girl. Then. I think that's all we bred for this season. I don't think, I can't remember if we bred snow or if she fitted in this spring. It's been a very hectic year, so. Kind of snow. How's it going? Go? And if I'm not pregnant this season it's perfectly fine with all of the doctor's appointments and things that I've had this year the poor goats have kind of been left to the wayside so we didn't ultrasound them this year because I was still in a full hard neck brace so I wasn't completely sure who was pregnant and who's not so we're kind of just winging it this year if a lot of girls end up not being pregnant like Miss Corn Pop here. We will probably put the younger girls in the kidding stall. Hi Corn Pop. And we will let our new buck come in for spring because we did get a new buck. I don't remember if we filmed it. Yeah, we did film it. Um, so we've got Kylo who's a, a great Oh, you just put your nice muddy paw right on me. Thanks, gravy. You're so sweet. Mm, thank you. Time to stand up now. So we'll let Kylo come in and kind of cover the girls for spring, which means we will have probably a lot more kids in spring than I really want. But we need to get back to milking these girls. I have a lot of goat milk customers and I don't have any goat milk for them. So it's time to get back to work because we've been, well, I've been slacking. All right, so Jess, you done reinforcing the fence? Yep. And we can open this back up. Now the female, she didn't get out. Yeah. She was probably telling them all, don't do it. You're gonna get in trouble, stupid boys. They're awfully cute when they're playing in water. Tubby. Tubby, go to bed. And that's what they basically they did. They just went over to the goat area and just drained all of their water out. And 
played in it all morning. Yeah. You didn't though, did you, girl? No, oh, wait, is this the girl? This is the girl. Oh, then it was that boy over there that didn't. Oh, so he, he stayed over? Yeah. I will say it is nice to have a secondary holding area for them. Oh yeah. Because if we didn't have somewhere to put the other two while we were trying to get that last one in, it would have never have happened. Go do pig things in your guys' area. Yeah. Stay on your side. At least they're, you can get a little close to them. I think they're going to be easy to put in the trailer, though. Knock on wood. <laughs> She's going to have to get some more hog panels because we don't have any left to build a catch shoot. Yeah. Oh, and since I'm already out here, I'll give you guys an update on how the sheep have been doing out in this area. They can't keep up with it. I need more sheep. Isn't that right, honey? What, babe? Isn't that right? What? Just, just agree with me. No. <laughs> I was saying the sheep can't keep up with this little area. We need more sheep. Well, I guess that's somewhat the plan. We will eventually have more sheep, but it's just not right now. So with the sheep, if you've been around for a little while, you know Blanche was a bottle lamb. So she's, yeah, that one right there. She knows she's spoiled. So she's really friendly, but if you've seen us move these other guys around, you'll know that they're not exactly the easiest to move. So we got a ram, which we didn't plan on getting, which I didn't film who's actually, I think, he's the one that's behind Blanche right now. His name is Wooly Nelson, because he likes the grass. So the plan is to breed the girls and keep those lambs so we can socialize them, because well, the farm that we got them from, they have hundreds of sheep, so they don't get a lot of socialization, which is fine, so. Yeah, and it's a beautiful farm. Yeah. They're wonderful people, too. Yeah, if, if you're in, Arkansas or near north central Arkansas and you're looking for sheep I'll put their Facebook page down below they raise grass-fed lamb and they actually they sell breeders and they sell for meat as well so if you're looking for sheep they raise Dorber Katahdin crosses and they're great and so I'll link that down below but for now we're gonna keep these guys and we're gonna just let them lamb out hopefully in the spring and then we can socialize all of the lambs and then we'll decide what we're going to do with the three girls that aren't exactly easy to catch which is fine because i mean we don't have to move them a whole lot because obviously right now they can't even really keep up with what we have them on now the farm that we got them from they do bucket train their sheep so they come to a bucket and we've been bucket training them with alfalfa pellets but we don't move them as often as the other farm does so it's just they're not getting as friendly as we would like them to be and they probably never will be which is fine like i said it, it's our first year raising sheep again we used to raise baby doll sheep and while the baby dolls weren't super friendly at least they had a lot of wool that you could grab onto to catch them <laughs> but these guys They'll stick around until next year and then we'll decide on um, what we're going to do with the three U's that we can't handle very easily. Because I really don't want to spend a whole lot of money building a catch pin to catch them every time we need to move them. Because they will get moved all over the property eventually from where they're at to around the greenhouse to the back paddock. Places where we can't really get a lawnmower in is where they'll end up being rotated around too so that's eventually next year's plan 
but it is hot and it is technically our day of loafing. So we're gonna go inside in the AC and hang out for the rest of the day. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, we put out videos every week. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.